Good morning. Welcome to the Freedom Alliance. I'm Bob Brooks. Today we want to talk about how to sponsor a new member into your network marketing business, affiliate marketing business, whatever you're doing online. We want to talk about sponsoring. But before I get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. So there's more than one way to sponsor a new member. And there's two I want to talk about today. One is social media and the other is basic advertising. There are two different ways that we can sponsor people. Now, if we take social media, that is by far the better way to sponsor somebody than through advertising. When you advertise and somebody comes through a funnel, and that's just your capture page into maybe a landing page with a video that says a little bit into the sales page, or it might just go from a capture page to a sales page. I see people just advertise a sales page, and if you get somebody, it's okay, you never have a way of reaching them again if they leave, but if they have the capture page, you save that information, whole different <laughs> training, but let, we're still talking about advertising. If somebody comes through your funnel and they become a member, they upgrade, you now sponsored somebody. Yay, I've got my first sponsor. And this is the way a lot of people work. This is the way I used to work my business. The problem was when you sponsor someone that way, there's a whole lot more work involved than the social media way. And we're going to get into that because now you sponsor somebody. They don't know you. You don't know them. They came through advertising. So the mindset when someone joins that way, they're in that they're looking at the business. Can I do this? Will it work for me? They're not looking at who my sponsor is, what my connection with them is. All they know is they joined an opportunity. So they start doing what they're told to do, you know, start doing the advertising. If it doesn't grow fast, they're gone they leave because they don't understand the process and they're on to something else. And we have a huge problem in this industry of people jumping from one thing to another and the shiny object syndrome. And part of that is because we advertise, we, we don't want to talk to people, we want to hide behind these funnels, we want to automate, we want things to work while we're sleeping and automate. And they join, they come in, they're there for a while and they're gone. The key to that type of sponsoring is the minute somebody is getting involved, you need to connect with them. And that's hard to do because I, I get to talk. Well, they won't respond. I get that. I get that. That's part of the problem with that way of sponsoring. The connection never happens and you can't build a solid business with partners you're not connected with. Business is about connecting with people. Every business out there, every restaurant out there, they want to know their clientele. You, I know the restaurants I go to. They know me. They, well, I'm in there. They're very nice. They, I'm, hey, <laughs> welcome back. So they know that. But when we talk about social media sponsoring, there's a different approach. I, I use YouTube. People watch my YouTubes. They want more information. Some people sponsor shop too, by the way. They want to look for a good sponsor. Somebody will help them. These are the people I like have call me because I know we can work together. When they call me, there's a connection. We start to get to know each other. Now, not everybody I talk to joins my business because we don't have the right opportunity for them maybe. Don't have, we just don't connect and they don't see it. So they go elsewhere and that's fine. But if we connect on that phone in that conversation and we have a conversation, we decide we want to work together, I now sponsored somebody that is working with me. I'm working with them. We're working together. We trade ideas and I learn things from new people all the time. It's not like I know everything. I'm just using this form uh, to reach out to people to see if we can work together. And then we call, we talk, we work together. I've got a great person I sponsored. Whereas if they come through advertising, I've got a lot of more back-end work of trying to connect with them so they get to know who I am. A lot of sending them emails, you know, hey, here's a video. Watch a video of me. This is what I do. This is how I can help you. Maybe we can work together. I'm glad you're part of the team. See, you notice I still say we can work together because right now I don't know if we can work together. They just came in through a funnel. I don't know who they are. And I have more people quit that come through that than that come through the social media. Facebook, same way. If I meet somebody on Facebook and we start doing the messenger thing and they join, I have a solid partner there because we've, we've, we're connecting. I, you have to connect. If you want to sponsor and have a long-term business, you have to you have to connect with your team. Now, not everybody. You're not going to connect with everybody. You're going to have people that fall down below you else where they're connecting with somebody else in the team, and that's the whole concept of the team build. But when we talk about sponsoring, it's all about connecting with people. If you want to be a great person out there sponsoring, getting to know people, you've got to connect. Now, you can do it onesie twosie, or you can do something bigger, like I use YouTube. I can connect with more people this way. Facebook, if you learn how to use Facebook and set your profile up right, post the right information, you're going to build, and here's the term, you're going to build an audience. That's the truth. You want to build an audience and engage the audience, and from that audience engaging them, you're going to find the ones you can work with, and you're going to build a huge, long-lasting team. So when it comes to sponsoring, it's not about selling. It's just about connecting with people. And if you connect through a funnel, the work comes on the back end, following up and connecting with them. If you meet on the front end before they even join, I like that even better because when they join, they know what they're joining. 
they know who they're joining with. When they go through the funnel, they really don't know what they got into yet. So I love social media. I love that form of sponsoring. It's the strongest. There's not as much money in advertising. There's You don't need as many views to your page. Uh, if you're advertising, it takes a lot of views. And I had a, a team member that noticed when I sent 10,000 views to his page, he goes, that's a lot of traffic. I'm like, yeah, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of people looking at your traffic to get to one or two because when you're advertising, you're a commercial. When you're meeting on social media, you're friends. So social media is a way to sponsor. Uh, then I going to do more training on it but that's what i got for wednesday if you really want to be a sponsor you got to learn how to do it and if you want to learn and you want to be part of a team that's actually helping you sponsor the freedom alliance we're doing that for you i've got the link for the rotator we are promoting everybody's matrix empire capture page not mine yours so take a look i'll put a freedom alliance video up there you can look at one i don't know where i'm putting it it's on one of the sites up there but anyway that's what i got for wednesday you guys have a great day we'll see you on friday bye